Okay, I'm gonna go over trig graphing of amplitude and period. Here's the worksheet right here. Here's an example, the first one, let's say y is equal to four sine of theta. So that has an amplitude of four. It's a regular sine graph that cycles in 360. And what that four does, that four bumps that sine graph up four units. So any value of theta, you would take the sine of that value, then multiply it by four. So four sine of theta takes the amplitude and pushes it up four units and down to negative four. So the amplitude now would be four and negative four versus before it was at one and negative one. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Let me just affect the period now. So we'll take a look at one where I have y is equal to sine of three theta. So this is a B value. It is not the period, but it determines the period. 360 divided by three is equal to 120 degrees. So it now cycles in 120 degrees. So I'm actually gonna label my horizontal axis theta before I even start. It'll do a full cycle in 120, half cycle in 60, a quarter cycle in 30, and a quarter cycle in 90. There's no value in front of the sign, so that must be a one. So it's gonna go up to one, down to a negative one. It's a sign graph, so it'll start at zero, zero, up to one at 30, down to zero on the y-axis at 60, negative one at 90, back to zero at 120. So this value right here takes the overall period and cuts it by three. Let me just do one more problem where I'll put all those pieces together. This is number 11. So y is equal to two, that's an amplitude, cosine of one third theta. So the first thing I'll do is label this two as an amplitude and we'll label it on my y-axis that I'm going up to and down to a negative two. This one third will be my period, 360 divided by a third, dividing fraction, same as multiplying by reciprocals. So that'll be 1080. So a full period in 1080, half cycle in 540, quarter cycle in 270. So it's gonna cycle in 1080, a half cycle in 540, a quarter at 270, and then a three quarter at, uh, what is that, seven, eight, 10. This is a cosine curve. So cosine starts up and ends up. So it's gonna start right here, cross right there, end at 540, cross and go back up. So that's what y equals two cosine and one third theta looks like. And all we're doing right now is changing amplitudes and figuring out the change in periods by a change in B value. Okay.